Hey, Justin Bryant here. We're going over some Pinterest marketing tips today. And uh, this is your free training for the day. I wanted to go over Pinterest because it's one of the fastest growing social media sites on the internet. And it's really going with the future of the internet by focusing mostly on photos and videos, which are, you know, dominating the visual media part of the internet, which is growing very rapidly and people are, tend to be getting away from just reading a bunch of stuff they like to watch videos and they like to see pictures it's it's more visual and it's uh, it's quick and easy to just upload a picture and uh, share it with your friends or your business associates audience viewers uh, prospects no matter who it is that you want to see it you can get it in front of them very quickly with Pinterest so I'm going to go over the first seven tips because I wanted to divide this up into two videos since it's actually a pretty uh, lengthy set of tips that I've come up with you and I researched the best ones I could find. I put together the, the best of the best from the top Pinterest marketing brands and so I hope you take some notes because you're about to learn a whole lot of good stuff with Pinterest. and. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, you gotta get your profile uh, looking great. You want to have a good profile picture. Uh, obviously, there are different types of Pinterest profiles. There's uh, for business. You know, usually you either have the company or you have an individual. I'm gonna tell you more about doing it as an individual, as an, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. Um, you can do one for your actual website or brand and use your logo as your profile picture but I would recommend you do it as a person as a personal brand and uh, as an entrepreneur that can kinda relate to everyday people and people can get to uh, know you and trust you so that they'll want to become customers or want to uh, really follow your brand um, so what you want to do is have a good picture it makes you look professional it makes you look like an expert in what you do you can get a professional picture made from a actual company that does that actual photographers or you can take one yourself just make sure um, you know you look nice you don't have to dress up in a tuxedo or anything but you need to just you know look nice and uh, try to smile try to look happy like you enjoy your life because people aren't gonna want to follow people that look like they're you know real negative all the time so do that you know make sure it's uh, a clear picture of your face and uh, let's go on to the next one your profile link is very important now I'm gonna have a link to uh, my blog where you can find this post and what it does is I have all 15 tips here I have the entire description, the entire walkthrough of how to apply them, and I'm also going to have some links to other how-to pages on how to set up some of it. Um, as far as setting up your profile link, you have to verify it, and what you want to do is send it to a blog or a you know overall website where people can find value, learn more about you, and uh, possibly become prospects or customers so you have to verify this through Pinterest to make it clickable um, under your picture and your bio on your profile and if you make it clickable more people will be willing to uh, go and check it out so go through that it's number two it'll have a link to how to set it up and uh, go ahead and verify a website URL after this video Number three, integrate it with other platforms. In other words, other social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. If you uh, combine Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter, those are three of probably the top five or six best social media sites on the internet uh, traffic wise. So, what you need to do is uh, I have another step-by-step uh, -step walkthrough on how to set up your Twitter and Facebook and integrate it with your Pinterest and that way you can post on all three at the same time if you want or you can uh, show pe you can kind of use your branding and connect it all together to where people can uh, it can make it easier for people to share your stuff 
on other profiles to grow all three of them at the same time while you're using Pinterest or any of the other three or the other two. So uh, go. you want to definitely go to number three and check out that uh, process on the blog post. Profile, profile bio is something that is actually overlooked by a lot of people but you want to tell people who you are and what you do and you might even add a little humor into it to show them you're you know you know you're not too serious you're not just all about business and you know taking people's money or anything you know you want to uh, show that you know you're a real person too you like to have fun you're a funny person and uh, you could then you put your you know what you actually do your occupation what your business provides things like that you know keep it short and sweet and uh, to the point and you know like I did on mine I added a little humor to it as well be very specific on your boards uh, when you're titling your boards make them don't have just a few broad ones have like a hundred very specific boards you know brands like Lowe's and things like that you know they'll have a board for every little thing that they you know every little category you could possibly put their products in and uh, with all their products you know they have very specific boards that people like to follow specific things and if you have just one these you know just a few general ones then uh, people aren't gonna like all the posts you do because it won't resonate with the same people every time when it's so general so be very specific that may, that way you have very specific groups of people for each one that follow and you can kinda figure out your traffic a little better and see you know who you're really attracting by doing this. Number six, you want to model after what works. Obviously, in any business, um, if you're struggling or even if you're doing well, you want to look at what else is working in the industry. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. All you need to do is go and find some people that are doing well on Pinterest and see what they're doing, why it's working. Find some uh, patterns that are uh, common in the top Pinterest. Uh, people and then uh, model that to what you're doing you know model their post to your profile and uh, it'll help you get some more followers it'll help you really grow faster and number seven consistency is key now you might be saying oh come on you know Justin really why are you mentioning this in the tips this is a pretty general thing that people always say but it's very true and it needs to be stressed because consistency of posting on Pinterest every day is something you need to keep it up um, at least you know five days a week or whatever your work days are you need to have uh, probably you know a couple pictures a day posting on Pinterest maybe one a day but you know when I get on I like to do you know multiple at the same time and uh, I'll post you know maybe one per board or one for every other board each day that I get on Pinterest and uh, it helps me get more followers and it helps uh, resonate with different groups of people so make sure you're posting every day that you work and it'll help you grow much faster instead of just posting every once in a while because people don't want to follow people that aren't active on that social media alright so those are the first seven I'm gonna have the next eight in uh, my part two video of the 15 Pinterest marketing tips and in that video I definitely recommend you watch it because as good as the tips were in this video they're gonna get a whole lot better in the next one they're gonna be more technical more uh, of the meat and potatoes of what you need to do in Pinterest and uh, what actually makes a good Pinterest pin a good picture that actually attracts people and what the uh, the most shared the most repinned um, pictures have in common that you may not be doing I'm going to cover it all in the next one it's going to be even more specific and I'm going to go into detail on how to create the perfect pins on your profile so make sure you watch the next video and it'll just be part two of the 15 Pinterest marketing tips and uh, go ahead and subscribe to uh, my channel if you're getting some value here because I'm going to have a whole lot more uh, social media blogging, any kind of marketing, any kind of leadership tips, uh, personal development, all the things you can think of 
what I'm here to do is serve entrepreneurs and help them be more successful because I believe so much in the uh, power of entrepreneurship and uh, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make you guys very successful in entrepreneurship and so go ahead and subscribe hope you like the video if you uh, got value from it and uh, even share it with others if you uh, want them to see it as well uh, go to the selfmadesuccess.com I'll have the link in the description that is my blog and you'll be able to see the full blog post in all the tutorials to go along with it as well as find some other resources that may help you. I'll uh, see you in the next video. This is Justin Bryant once again and uh, hope you enjoyed the tips.